I'm Brian Vance, BroadbikeTrackYear.com, and I'm here today to educate you, to teach you, and tell you the truth about cheap aftermarket motorcycle levers. Okay, let's start off with the obvious thing. My shirt's too tight, I'm old and a little bit fat. Please don't make fun of me, I'm sensitive. This video, we're gonna focus on, and I'll tell you the whole story how I came across this actually failed, poorly engineered, uh, God, what is this thing, a MZS motorcycle lever, okay? This is a brake lever that almost caused this customer of ours to fall. It's a long story and I'm gonna tell the whole story. But the first thing I wanna say is this. There's a couple of things on this motorcycle that if they let you down, if they fail, if they're of poor quality or poor design and there's an issue with it, you could have a really big problem. It's so obvious, I mean the brake lever, okay? Whether you're on the track or on the street, when you go to throw those fingers over that lever, that thing needs to be there. If it's not, you're gonna have a really bad day. I happen to know of just two circumstances, people I know, friends, that on track had lever failure, total lever failure actually, and both resulted in very serious accidents and big time injuries that they're carrying around with them for the rest of their lives. You can't lose that. Another thing that's super important, you've seen we've done some throttle installs lately too. The throttle, the brake lever, the throttle, those they have to be perfect. Your controls have to be strong and have integrity so they withstand all the forces that can be applied to them. You know, you can't have a clip on just snap off in your hand under heavy braking. You're gonna have a bad day, almost as bad as if you lost the brake lever. Rear sets too, you're putting all the weight on those foot pegs, you need to know those things are gonna hold up. And that takes quality materials, quality engineering, right? And quality production and machining to get all that done. Okay, little disclaimer here. Everything that I'm gonna show you here, this is real world stuff, everything, this is my opinion. I'm not out to attack anybody. I'm sure the people at MZS, wherever they're from, it looks like China or something. I love Chinese people, I love everybody. This isn't an attack on anyone. This is just simply sharing something with everybody out there that we learned and one of our customers learned damn near the hard way. How this whole thing came about is we have a good customer that he had purchased a set of Spiegler brake lines for his 2017 Yamaha R6. He watched my kick-ass install video. He installed them on his bike. He did a great job. And then I saw, because I answer all the YouTube comments myself, I saw a comment on there. It was a Friday afternoon. We're actually about to go home talking about help i installed these lines something's not right my brakes are locking up the minute i saw that i was able to take his username he hadn't even reached out to us okay he put the comment on youtube i took his username i did a little research on the site in our software i was able to find him and i sent him an email and called him immediately because you cannot have your brakes locking up and i wanted to make sure if there was a problem with the line kit or something right that we were there to support him i'll say that spiegler was all over this too the owner of spiegler and i worked with this customer to get his issue sorted out and essentially we were helping him diagnose it and i'll say this guy is super patient he's super cool i really loved how he just worked with us through this process because it turned out it had nothing to do with the brake lines we asked a series of questions to help figure out what was wrong and one of the questions we asked was have you installed any aftermarket levers on your bike specifically a brake lever well it turned out he had you can find on amazon or ebay okay these these mzs levers you know and they've got some really good looking product pictures right there's some funny broken english typed in the product descriptions too i mean that stuff's a hoot just go take a look at it but i'll be open and honest with you 35 or 40 bucks a set for these things for two levers that's a hell of a deal and i know we all love saving money i love saving money okay but let's show what happened in this particular case we're going to focus on this brake lever now by design on that 2017 r6 and like say for example my gsxr 1000 it uses the same style lever okay in here there is a cross pin bushing, okay? And I have a drill bit in that right now, and this thing should float back and forth. I'm gonna show you that. Here's an OE lever. And you can see, I mean, hopefully Steve's getting in there really tight, but I mean, that thing is just loosey-goose in there. It can't bind up at all. 
we're, I'm going to show you a CRG lever. These are made here in the U.S. And there's a lot of great stuff made in China for sure. These levers probably are not one of them, okay? Here is the cross pin bushing. It comes not installed yet in the lever. CRG knows this is so important. These dudes actually have a whole little set of instructions just to talk about this bushing because I'll tell you right now, you f*** this bushing up while well, we've already talked about what's going to happen. So notice that tolerance, okay? It's not sloppy, but it's not real tight. You also need to lubricate that when you put in here. And you can see that floats back and forth with zero resistance. If that's binding, what's going to happen is as you're pulling that lever in and releasing it, okay, with the master, that thing actually needs to rotate just a tiny little bit. If it can't rotate, it is going to bind the brake pistons. So what was happening to our customer is he literally took it for a short test drive, applies the brakes, this thing's not moving, and the brakes just hang up on him. Fortunately, he did not crash. I mean, you're talking a 2017 R6, that's a badass bike. That's what is $12,000, $13,000. Could have flicked it on the ground, could have gotten a big accident. All that stuff absolutely could have happened. So, you know, here's issue one with these levers. And in my opinion, that is an unbelievable, like, let me push a little harder. That's what it took to, and it's still bound up. That has to float completely free. It didn't. You can see they've got it retained here, you know, with that snap ring in there. The tolerance is too tight inside. Bottom line is not a great design. I did a little research on the company. And like I said, I'm sure they're fantastic people. They're probably just wonderful, very nice people. Not trying to bag on them, just trying to show you what we learned here because this price can be really tempting. You know, it looks like overseas production, which is okay. A lot of great stuff is made there and they're selling direct on Amazon and or eBay. Okay, so you just buy the levers in a set. One thing I, I would question, do they have product liability insurance? You know, you manufacture and sell stuff here, right? You put products like this on a bike and if you have an issue, right, a faulty part and somebody crashes, falls down and, and hurts themselves, I mean, you need to have those things in place. I don't know if a company selling levers for $35 a set has that in place and that's a really important thing. Okay, now let's just continue forward. Let's focus on the rest of the lever. We showed you, right, that, that cross pin and how that is just not great. But, you know, even let's talk tolerances. And hopefully the camera gets this. Like, there is a lot of play in there, okay? Let's look at the clicker here, the adjuster. You can see that, I mean, that's a pretty solid amount of play in there as well. The actual adjusting ramp, let's see if we can get right there where the red meets the black. They've just got a machine surface there, so it's metal on metal, okay? Yeah, that's one way to do it for sure. Now let's just, we'll show you the CRG, the RC2 lever. And this is a higher end lever, so it should be a lot better, right? Very nice tight tolerance. The clicker, well, that's tight tolerance too, just as it should be. The adjuster, I'm sure you can see the writing there moving. That's a bearing that that rotates on so this is a very smooth action super high quality this is a lever i think this is an 80 90 dollar lever i mean hell it's more than this whole set it should be kick-ass right well crg offers another line within their brand these are the spectrum levers we have them on the site they're 64 dollars a piece so you can get a set of these for about 130 bucks that's pretty darn affordable okay yeah it's more than that for sure but at the end of the day you're getting 10 times the lever. So let's take a look at this little spectrum lever, okay? You can see the quality machining, super awesome. They're building off all the same measurements they do their higher end levers. Super smooth clicker. You can see the tolerance, it's the same as it was with that RC2 lever, pretty sweet. Show you the clicker, right? That's not wiggling all over the place and it's using that same bearing in there for the adjuster, so super smooth action. So there are more affordable options, right? If you don't wanna go with the high-end RC2, the replacement ends and all that stuff, different bells and whistles, you know, they have something a little more affordable here with the Spectrum, some color options, great product from a great company, solid engineering, high quality materials are used, years and years of experience have gone into that product. Okay, so this is pretty short and pretty sweet, but it's really, really important. Once again, not trying to talk poorly about anybody. I'm sure these people over here are just super nice people, right? 
they're operating only on Amazon and eBay. It looks like they're selling direct. You know, are they developing these products themselves? I can't answer that. Do they have product liability insurance here? I have no idea how to answer that. Would I ride with these on my bike? Well, I can answer that. That's a hell no, right? I love saving money, man, but there's no way I would put those on my motorcycle. Brake lever, clip-ons, rear sets. There's just some things with the bike that you just cannot take a chance on. You need to stick to a good quality name brand that's invested in the sport, in the industry, and in developing high quality products. And they're here to stand behind them. And even as a retailer, we're here to work with you if you have issues through that too. So there you go, man. Aftermarket Motorcycle Lever 101. I'm Brian Van, wearing a tight shirt over here at Sport Bike Tracker.